Dear children, warm greetings and blessings to all. I, Minakshi Singh, your social teacher, welcomes you to 7th standard. Today, I am going to teach you history chapter number 1 and the name of the chapter is Where, When and How that is concerned with the medieval period. In this chapter, we will discuss the following topics. So, let's overview it. First part will be the introduction, the medieval period in India. Second, the impact of geography on history. Third, terms used to describe the subcontinent. Fourth, the sources of information for medieval history, that is inscription, coins, buildings, sculptures, etc. Last year in class 6th, you learnt what is history. History is study of human past. To understand history easily, it is divided into three parts. First one is the Asian period, second one is the medieval period and the third one is the modern period. In class 6th, you learned the first period, that is the Asian period of Indian human history and that extended from 600 BCE to 647 CE. Asian period starts from the time when humans learned to write to the Emperor Harshvardhan death. Children, BCE means the era before the birth of Jesus Christ and CE means Christian era that is after the birth of Jesus Christ. This year in class 7th, you will be reading the second period of Indian history that is the medieval period. Medieval means middle age. And the medieval, medieval period extends from 647 CE to 1700 CE. That is, it starts from the time when Emperor Harshavardhan died to the time two important events were happening. That, was, that is, first one, the Mughal Empire started to break down. And the second one, it was the same time, it was the beginning of British power in India. Medieval period in India is further divided into three parts, sorry, two parts. First one is the early medieval period that is from 647 CE to 1200 CE. The second one is the later medieval period. The third period of modern India is the modern period that is from 1700 CE till the current date. The time British power began in India to the present age. So children let's come to the main point and start the second period of the Indian history that is medieval period in India. During this period, India saw many far-ranging changes in all the fields, that is, political changes, social changes, cultural changes, and economic changes. Now, first of all, we will see what was happening in north of India in 647 CE. In this map, you can see the extension of Emperor Harshavardhan's empire in 647 CE. Emperor Harshavardhan had a big empire and covered whole North India, which included Kanauj, Magad, Ujjain and Vallabhi. But when Emperor Harshavardhan died, many independent kingdoms came up. 
these kingdom started fighting with each other and the reason why they were fighting was because this kingdoms were trying to become more powerful they were trying to establish their supremacy on the other kings in this way the political conditions in india was very unstable thus we can say the main reasons were first is the lack of unity in india second is kings were fighting with each other different kings were fighting to increase their areas of kingdom third is different tribes from central asia entered india from the northwest directions fourth established mighty empires in india mighty means big empires for example the example you can see on the screen that that is turkish dynasty afghan dynasty tughlaq dynasty mongol dynasty all this dynasty ruled from we can say 11th century to the 18th century i hope children till here everything is very clear and you are able to understand each and every point so now let us discuss what was happening in south india in 647 ce and what was the condition in south india in this map you can see famous kingdoms in south india in 647 ce in the beginning of medieval period south india remained unaffected by the events which were happening in the north india two kingdoms named as cholas and rashtrakutas flourished in south india they were very happy and prosperous kingdom so children that's all for now